no time. Resilient Suppressors RS9, Oak Island, 147 grain subs. Woo! That's quiet. What's going on, y'all? Today we are talking about the CMMG Descent in 9mm. But before we jump into this, let me once again thank our homies Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo. They provided us with the gun and the ammo for this review and given us the opportunity to provide you guys with unbiased reviews. That is a huge thing for us here, and we love that you guys like to support them as well. So go check them out at their stores here in Knoxville or Sevierville, their website at smga.com or Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo on all social media platforms. But let's dive into this, guys. The CMMG Descent is a baddie for sure. This is a radial delayed blowback type of system, so it is not just the uh, the blowback from the original like PC9s and AR9s of old. This thing is a lot softer and a lot smoother of a shooter compared to those old styles. And CMMG has really done a good job of harnessing almost everything that you would want in a type of PCC or subgun type of setup here. And we're going to kind of break down what all that is. So starting off here, guys, you've got a lot of the CMMG zeroed parts. That is kind of their parts line. Uh, so all of that has been added to this type of setup. Starting with their compensator on the front here, you also have a uh, kind of grooved out mag release as well as a nice extended bolt catch here on the left side and an ambidextrous safety. Now the gun itself is not full ambidextrous because you don't have a bolt catch on the right side or a mag release on the left side, but it is semi-ambidextrous in the sense that you do have the ambidextrous safety and the charging handle itself is actually reversible. So you could set that over to the right side, making this kind of like a half uh, ambidextrous type of setup here. But those parts are all the zeroed parts. So the safety, uh, the mag release, the compensator, and the grip, the pistol grip itself. Um, there is no need for a buffer type of setup with these now, guys, because this is all a self-contained BCG. So really dang awesome that now you can get those really nice looking uh, skeleton stocks like from JMAC Customs and stuff and slap that all on on the back here because it comes with a standard 1913 type of pick rail setup. And depending on where you get this, guys, you can order this directly from CMMG with three different brace options, or you guys could do the legal process with the stamp and then SBR this thing and get your guys self set up with a uh, stock of your choice. So completely up to you how you want to do this. This was sent to us like this, so there, it did not come with a brace or a stock or anything, so we had to make do and kind of set it up the way that we wanted. But... You know, all this is set up in the same exact sense of an AR. So if you have uh, a different type of uh, takedown pin, safety, bolt catch, you know, all that stuff that you may want to swap out, even the pistol grip here, you can swap out all those parts for the ones that you like yourself. So you don't have to stick with this. That is fully customizable here. And one thing we didn't talk about was the trigger itself. The trigger is also a CMMG trigger. It is a flat face trigger and it is super, super clean, guys. So just to make sure that we're clear one more time, you have very little take up in that trigger. It almost instantly hits the wall and then it breaks. So if I had to take a guess before I do the actual test on it, I think this thing is probably right at about four pounds and the reset is super clean on this thing as well. So reset. Just a little bit of travel. There's the wall. Break. Yeah, I'd say about four, maybe four and a half pounds. This one in particular, guys, is a six and a half inch barrel, but they do come in all different sizes as well, all the way up to a rifle length. So if you guys did want to get the Descent and nine millimeter as a rifle, that way you don't have to worry about any of that ATF mumbo jumbo. Uh, it does come with the stock directly. So you can go that route. Or you could go the pistol version and you have the option for multiple mags. We had the one with the Glock mag, so Glock is an option, but you also have M17, which is basically SIG 320 mags, or the CMMG full-size mag, which is basically like this here. So ours is a regular AR-15 style magazine with a mean arms insert in this. 
And basically what this does is allow you to take basically a descent upper, put it on a standard lower and run it that way. So that is pretty dang awesome that you can make this look pretty much like uh, anything that you want. And these also give you 30 rounds as well. So looks cool. And that is how we were able to run our full auto lower is that we took uh, the back plate off of this lower here, put, changed it over to our SOT, uh, you know, license lower there, and then had the ability to run that upper or this descent upper on it without a buffer setup. And then the only thing we were missing was we had to have the mean arms max. So, or the mean arms conversion for our max. So we were able to figure that out and run this thing full auto, which was absolutely a dream, especially suppressed. And, you know, I think overall, guys, we had well over uh, 750 rounds through this thing. We went way over the amount that we were allotted for the review, but we couldn't just stop where we were at. We had to keep shooting this thing, and it has been something that has been brought out on every single range day since we have had it. And so plenty of top rail space here, guys. So you're able to put any light laser optic of your choosing. And this one does have the smaller, more like six inch handguard here. It does have M-lock on three sides. So on both the left and the right, as well as the bottom. And we kind of paired this with a bunch of different stuff. We had the Strike Industries foregrip and then kind of ended with the Swamp Fox Kraken. That thing was uh, pretty small and minimal, but, but also provided us with a little bit of that extra height. This thing was uh, super fun to shoot both at day and in the evening time. So we spent a lot of time under night vision shooting this one as well. So having a, a high rise optic of sorts is uh, a must for me. And that's kind of just the direction I go with a, a lot of my setups here. But yeah, overall guys, I believe this is a, a great option. I believe CMMG has done a great job of constantly updating their stuff, you know, now with the descent line and a lot of their uh, different models from their, their actual ARs to their mutant line. All these things are just getting better with every single run that they do. And CMMG is just filled with good people. So I, I love reviewing these things. The last one we got to review was the rifle uh, in 5.56, the Resolute. And that thing didn't let us down either. So still on the CMMG fan train for sure right now, guys. And this one is probably going to end up staying in my arsenal as well. So now I got to go figure out if I have the uh, money to put back on it. If not, this will absolutely be something I'll be coming back again and getting. Because for the price compared to what a lot of sub guns are out there, I believe you are absolutely getting a pretty good deal when it comes to this thing. So... Definitely a yes from us. No malfunctions on this thing. It is ate everything that we can throw at it from 115 grain to 124 grain and 147 grain subs and a multitude of different Glock mags. So from the shorty boys to the long boys, from standard Glock mags to some off-brand stuff as well, this thing has performed flawlessly and is absolutely a winner in my eyes. But what do you guys think? Do you guys like the CMMG Descent line? Do you like the bufferless setup? So, you know, it kind of seems like the way of the world is kind of leaning towards that these days. And I know it's definitely got my attention, especially after shooting this thing for as long as we got to shoot it for. But love hearing your guys' feedback. Let us know down below if you plan on getting one of these, if you guys have one, or if you guys have any issues. Definitely want to know if there's some problems out there floating around and want to know how CMMG is handling if they have already done any warranty requests for you guys. So just like to stay in the loop, but we appreciate every single one of y'all. Hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends, guys. And as always, stay alert, stay alive. And could this descent be a ride or die? Is that just all just to find the bag release? Yeah. <laughs> fucking lefty and a righty world. Got this whole gun, like I'm like, thinking, I'm like, gripping this light to get around it. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely not set up for a lefty right now. <laughs> <laughs>